Hello everyone, uh, I hope everyone's doing well, everything's going fine, and I know it's a weird time right now, but let's have some fun and let's talk about some interesting stuff. My name is Ruben, uh, I'm an undergraduate student at the University of Glasgow, uh, I'm currently going into my fourth year of my MSI degree in genetics. And I've been asked to talk a bit about what I've been doing during this pandemic and how my degree has been able to be useful, basically, uh, during this time. So, just to give you a bit of background, um, I really like lab-based work, so in science I mostly focus on that. There's a lot of different options that you can have, but I've been doing a lot of work specifically in plants and also in cancer research uh, and also some other volunteering in space physiology and other weird topics that are all over the place. I'm doing all of this because I really want to get a sense of all the science that is out there to be able to pick what I like because at the very end I would like to specialize in astrobiology. Wow, astrobiology, I know it sounds really fancy but it's, yeah I mean, I would, let's not be modest, it's actually quite cool uh, but it's a really new uh, degree or career would basically you combine biology and space and many other you know science subjects and put them all together. So during this whole pandemic I was very frustrated because I had some knowledge in science but I was not able to help. So basically I applied uh, to volunteer in the lighthouse lab uh, in Glasgow, specifically in the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, to be able to help somehow and you know give a hand specifically during this whole crisis that has been affecting everyone. The Lighthouse Lab basically is the only lab in the whole Scotland that is testing for coronavirus and is testing for samples from Scotland, Northern Ireland and then parts of England. So it's a really big thing and it's one of the biggest labs right now in the whole UK. So yeah, uh, I applied there first of all as a volunteer but it was paid volunteering so it was more like a job. So I ended up working there for around three months and it's been amazing, it's been great. Basically my role at the very beginning was being all over the place. I was doing many things because the lab was still developing and we were still evolving and we were quite new so we needed to do different tasks. I was involved with simple tasks such as opening bags for samples but then other most complicated like uh, PCR analysis and a lot in between. Uh, my role during these last few months has been to be uh, a workstation manager. So basically the lab is organized in different stations and I was in charge of one of them. Uh, it was quite important, or I like to think it was very important because it was mine uh, and we worked there. Um, we were a team of around eight people, nine people and basically we were in charge of recording every single sample and making sure that it was uh, recording in specific computer programs that further on were going to be used to analyze the samples. Basically, we were making sure that people were getting the right result. So it was a big thing. Uh, I had a lot of jobs, not only science related and lab, I had a lot of work uh, lab based, but then I also had a lot of work in terms of administration, paperwork, management, and all these different things. So I've been doing all these tasks that are associated with science but are also not directly science or are not directly a lab related stuff and I met a lot of people in the way we were a huge team of different people from very different backgrounds uh, industry, academia, also people that stopped researching a while ago and just came back for the emergency crisis that we're living right now so it was really interesting to see all these different roles and all these different people being able to work together and put together such an important and big thing. So yeah, as you can see, I was very busy and I was very happy to be very busy doing all this job and do what I like to do, which is doing science but also helping other people. So it was quite cool. It was really, really fun and really interesting. It was very tiring, very stressful and sometimes really hard, but that's science. It's a, it's a learning curve. Uh, it's, a, it's quite an interesting process. But like, how crazy it is, like, it blows my mind that I really like to work with this really tiny, you know, molecule, which is DNA. Uh, and then, all of a sudden, I end up helping people in care homes or key workers or, I don't know, whoever needs help, I, I'm able to just do what I do and help someone. That it's like, blows my mind. It's crazy. Anyways, um, I had to leave my job because basically I'm still an undergrad, so I still need to finish my degree. Right now, I'm in London because I'm doing a master's 
in the Francis Crick Institute, which is more lab research, which is basically what I like, I want, uh, what I want to do. But I need to say that that's not the only career option that you have. I really like lab-based work, but there are many other things that you can do with a science degree. There's public engagement, there's jobs in industry, jobs in academia, lab administration, HR, scientific writing, and I could continue, but I'm gonna stop there. There are many different options that you can have uh, and that a, a degree in science will give you. And maybe you don't want to do science, but still, all those skills that you learn, you can apply them to the world and to many different, you know, to whatever you're gonna do in your life, which is really nice. Uh, that's basically my story, and that's how I was able to help and give something back, help out while, you know, doing my degree and studying science. And I hope it, it gives you some kind of perspective and a nice point of view of what it's like to do science. If you have any questions, you just want to reach out or whatever you need, uh, I'm sure there should be some kind of link uh, for my contacts, so please, please, please feel free to contact me if you have to. And I hope this was helpful and nice and not very boring. <laughs> Take lots of care. Bye-bye.